gives me great pleasure to declare the Pacific Cable open. Over the past 40 years, the Medway Queen has brought colour and pleasure to some two million passengers. She's remembered with gratitude by the 7,000 servicemen she brought back from Dunkirk, making no less than seven channel crossings. A sad day for Captain Leonard Horsham when she began her last trip. The last of the Thames paddle steamers, she could no longer pay her way. There seemed no alternative to the breakers yard. Since she was built in 1924, she had become as familiar on the estuary as the other famous landmarks, weaving her way into the fabric of the river's history and into the memories of those who travelled in her. So it's not really surprising that sentiment has stepped in. A national appeal has just been launched to try to raise enough money to preserve her. Chief Engineer William Ruthven has been tending the Queen for 13 years. You can understand how he'd feel if his pride and joy became scrap metal. But time is running out. At least 8,000 pounds will have to be found. So far they've only collected 1,000. But if they had one penny for every person who'd ever travelled in the Medway Queen, she'd be safe for posterity. The only paddle steamer of her type, and a memorial to the heroism of those who manned the little ships at Dunkirk. <laughs> 